Now, for Elite Dangerous today, I spent a fair bit of time going through and doing a bunch of mining to uh, top off our fuel reserves. So we are up at 966 units of fuel. And, uh, oh, you know what? I forgot to bring up my fleet carrier route because uh, we need to start making our way towards the next destination. So let's go ahead, hop into our carrier services here. We're gonna go into carrier management. We will go into the map and set our destination for our fleet carrier and get that moving on towards its destination. And then we will start making our way towards that destination. Uh, so yeah, whereas before we had the weekly carrier reposition live streams that we were doing, those live streams are no more. I am now doing this daily live stream where we're going to, uh, you know, live stream the recording process. Um, now the reason that's the reason that's important for the series is is that now the carrier is going to be moving throughout the week, and ideally I think we're going to try to move it every day if I can. Um, you know, once a day that gives us five jumps a week versus the three jumps per week we've been doing. It's not really much of a change, but we will get to our destination a little bit faster doing it this way. But the biggest thing is is that we're no longer going to be hanging out on the carrier as it jumps. We are actually going to take off and go. We're going to basically just follow the route and do some exploring as we do it. So let's go ahead and get the destination for our ship laid in here. Should be, uh, here we go, seven jumps. So let's go ahead, get off the carrier and start doing some exploration. Um, as always, I'm gonna try to do a mix between doing exploration related activities here in the Mandalay. And we may switch back and forth between some other ships as we go. I'm not sure. The, Man the Mandalay is just, it's, it's kind of too OP for exploration stuff. So I don't know if we'll ever switch back to any of the other ships at this point. But uh, for variety, maybe every once in a while we'll swap to uh, we'll, we'll swap to something different. But for now, <laughs> we're going to go ahead. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, start heading towards our destination, which is seven jumps away. And we'll do some exploring along the way as we go. But the, uh, the, the extra content that I'm trying to get to is going to be... Uh, let me see here. I need to. The issue that I'm the issue that I'm having right now is the same issue I've had with everything else that I'm doing. I can't get the chat working, and the the, the dock for my chat that was in OBS is now is is gone. So I'm having to keep it up in my two web browsers over here. So if I don't immediately respond to your chat messages, I apologize in advance. Uh, let me see. Am I able to? I'm not able to pause. Hmm. Well, that's frustrating. I'm not even able to. I'm not able to pause the stream on my restream either. That's annoying. Well, whatever. If I don't respond to you immediately, it's not because I'm ignoring you. It's because I'm still trying to figure out how to get all of my chats into one window. Um, restream will give me Twitch and YouTube, but it won't give me Rumble because you know, of course, it's not. Yeah, restream Gunthrek, or restream Twitch and YouTube. It gives me it gives me the three of those, and then I don't get anything else. So, it's it's really quite annoying. All right. Uh, so since we aren't really able to do much until our carrier gets where it's going, uh, we're gonna go ahead and just do a full on scan of most of the systems that we go to because why not? You know, we got nothing else to do. Who knows? We got some geological stuff there. We got some. Nothing. Oop. Zoomed out a little too far on that one. Let's go down to here. Go up to here. And we'll go over to here. And then we just got to find the other gas giant. We can get all the planets around that and then move on to the next one. All right. So. Got, oh, wait. We got one biology. I'm not going to I'm not going to waste. Like, I know we're not in a hurry, but at, at the same time, I don't want to go over there just for this one. That's boring. I don't want to go over there for just one freaking thing. There we go. We may go ahead and go grab that since, uh, you know, our, our carrier is not going to make its jump for about an hour. So we will be well done with our play with uh, with playing the. We'll be well done with our, our time on this game by the time the carrier actually makes its jump. I really hope that, in the, that they get their server issues figured out here pretty soon. So that, um, you know, maybe we could, at the very least, we can get a single jump done every day and then have our carrier waiting for us by the time we get there. Because at 50 minutes, uh, we're not going more than 30 minutes for any of this stuff. Like any, all of the games that I play, um, except for Call of the Wild, because to get 30 minutes worth of video out of that, I have to play longer than 30 minutes to get that because with all the cuts that I put in it. But um, 
yeah, uh, it, we really need the, the carrier times to come back down to about 15, 20 minutes, so that by the time we're by the time we're done with our stream, we can end our time back on the carrier again. That would be uh, that would be preferable. I'd really like to get to that point. But let's uh, let's hop over here. So I still haven't figured quite figured out the uh, the timing on this because it aggressively, it really aggressively, see like, I went all the way down to about three seconds and it's still, and it's still deceler, oops, but then I, then I stopped paying attention and now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna get punished for it. <laughs> now I'm gonna get punished for it. That's all right, we'll get it. Wait, uh, I was kind of hoping it would let me have it, but I guess not, all right. It finally slowed down to the point where it'll actually do that. All right, let's go scan the planet, find out what's on it. We'll go ahead and go all the way down and uh, grab ourselves a little bit more money because we got to make sure we're paying our bills, right? We got weekly carrier upkeep maintenance of 33 million credits per week. So we got to stay on top of that. While we're coming in here, I'm just going to check my uh, check my comments on Rumble. All right, cool. Um, for those of you watching not on the live stream, I do, I am live streaming this right now and making a recording out of it, so that's why I am talking about live stream stuff. At some point I'm going to figure out putting a, putting a chat overlay, like once we get to the point where people are actually consistently chatting during the, during all of this, but, uh, for now I don't really have enough engagement that that's really worth, that that's really worth figuring out yet. <laughs> well, we'll see. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll get there. Maybe there'll be people talking all the time, and then it'll make sense to have it just kind of scrolling up on the screen. But uh, for now, we got a long way to go before we hit that point. All right, we got Bacterium and Fonticula, which is more or less what I expected. But because we're in the Mandalay, we have our new, sh our shiny new exploration ship. We're going to take most of the opportunities that we can get to go ahead, hop down there, and uh, enjoy the maneuverability. Hmm. Okay, it seems like my stream is like way behind me though. I wonder if my I wonder if uh I wonder if there's some kind of latency issues. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to look into the settings for that because right now we're still on my on the stream part of it. We're I'm still setting the course for the carrier and everything. Like it's it's that far behind me. So they clearly the low latency the low latency setting for my restream is really. The latency on that is really high. So I, I'm going to take a second and see if... Well, I can't really... I guess I can't really fix that at this point. That's annoying. So, yeah, I don't... I don't know that I'm going to be able to actually fix that. I don't ever remember... I don't ever remember seeing an option for it either. Is there an option for latency on here? That's kind of annoying. Hmm. Because it's the restream part that's... It's the restream part that's causing it to be... Hmm. Oh, well. Well, I apologize if it takes me forever to answer... To respond to your comments, because... I think I'm kind of curious to know where my rumble is sitting right now. Oh, my rumble... The rumble has me right on the thing there, so I'm kind of curious to know... Let me refresh the screen and maybe... Okay. So, I don't know. Um, I'm a little bit I'm a little bit confused because the... Uh, the stream was a little bit behind, but whatever. It is what it is. What I really need is just to get it to where I can have my chats in a window and not have to look at the live. I just I, I try to bring the live streams up just to verify that I'm actually streaming to the platform. Then I want to close it and I don't want to have to look at it. Like I don't even want to have my I don't even want to have my um my live chat up on my Rumble over here. Let me pop out that and close it. Let's see if I can bring that back up. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. All right. I thought I had a way of popping out my chat for my restream too, but. I don't remember how I did it. That's fine. It is what it is. Let's go. Let's go find these other these other fonticula that we're looking for. Here we go.
Hmm. It's forcing me to be like really far away to land. Okay, that's fine. We'll hop out and run and go grab this. It does seem like this the the restream feed has caught up to, to where I am now, so that's good. But uh, yeah, mildly annoying that it works this way. Grab ourselves our second sample. Okay. Ponticula digitos. I'm I'm a little bit uh, I'm a little bit annoyed by the lights down here. It kind of looks weird with the way they have it set up. I wonder if there's a way to turn that off. It would be really nice to be able to turn that off. I think it looks weird. I know it was supposed to be like a selling point, but I'm I don't know. Anytime I'm doing anything in uh, in the darkness, I have night vision turned on anyway, and my suits all have night vision, so I don't really need it. All right, that grabs us our our third. This will grab us our third biological source. I don't remember. Did we get first footfall? I wasn't even paying attention to that. Hmm. It's fine. We'll grab this and move on. Is there any bacteria right nearby us? Doesn't seem like it. We're going to have to go find some. Sprint back over here. I remember if we flew, we overflew some as we were looking for this here. So, ideally, if I keep going, we'll still find some more. Because I don't remember seeing any any when we first got here. But at the same time, it's like, you know. But fortunately, you can you can see the bacteria from much higher up than you can see everything else. See, like I spot I spotted this bacteria from all the way over here. So let's go ahead and grab that. I am enjoying the controllability of this ship, I have to say. I was on the fence about getting it, but I am absolutely enjoying the controllability of the ship here. It's much better than pretty much any of the other ships that we've had. It stops on a dime, almost. So, I am a big fan. I am a big fan. I don't... I, I, again, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the... I'm not a big fan of the bottom of this ship. This could be such a beautiful ship if they had just streamlined this massive belly somewhat. <laughs> I don't know why they decided to... They, like, it, it's clear to me, and I think I heard somewhere somebody said something to the effect of they wanted to make sure it didn't look like a fighter, so they stuck this bottom thing on. It's like, who cares if it looks like a fighter? It's just, it's, it, we want it to look good. That's all we care about. I don't care if it looks like a fighter. I just want it to look good. If you're going to go with a blocky design, just go with a blocky design and leave it there. Don't give me a half... A half streamlined design, and then a half, and then a half uh, cargo ship design. Like I don't, I don't want that. Nobody wants that. Right. Um, maybe find another big open space, because the problem with this one is that uh, for the most part, it does not seem like we have a lot of open space. Oh, here we go. It does seem like the, the footprint for this ship is a little bit nicer. It does seem like the footprint for this ship is a little bit nicer for a medium for a medium ship. I don't think we would have been able to land. We or we may we probably would have been able to land, but it probably would have taken a lot more finagling. So I think that the I think that the landing legs being high put, putting the ship higher up and being pretty close together like this, I think it actually might be helping with you know trying to land. So you know. Uh, we've been doing exploration-related activities for over a year at this point, consistently, almost every day, so we're going to have plenty of time to verify that fact and just get into a bunch of situations where we are going to see if we're able to land in places we normally wouldn't wouldn't have been able to land. I mean, just being able to land in more difficult areas makes this ship way better than any of the other ones that we've, that we've tried. Even the Phantom. Even the Phantom. The Phantom had a really hard time landing in even moderately rocky terrain so you know okay we got this all right so 
So this will end our time on this planet. We'll start heading towards the next area and see if it'd be really nice if we could find some, I haven't found some first footfall stratum tectonicus in a while. I know it's not the most interesting thing to find in the world, but at the same time, it's a lot of money. It's three weeks worth of, of uh, carrier payments. So definitely want to try to find that if we can. Let's get the next system in route. Oh, we gotta, I think we have to take off before we can do that. Let's get the next system in route. Set up, get ourselves out of the mass lock for this planet. And we get a nice line of sight there. We don't even have to exit the planet. We just go straight into frame shift, jumping to the next one. So yeah, there's a restream, there's a restream chat app that I was trying to install. I like I just found it right before the stream. I'm trying to get it installed, but I can't figure out what my username and password is. I don't know if I need a separate account for the restream chat program or what, but it was it just I couldn't log in. I don't know why. Mildly annoying. There's a lot of things that are mildly annoying to me. I'm an I'm a I'm a I'm an easily I'm an easily annoyed person. Because I just want things to work. Like I don't want to have to jump through hoops to make things happen. I just want it to work. You know, I just want everything to work. Give it to me. Let me have it right. Fuel sweeping complete. All right. I don't think we're going to find anything here. I think this might... Oh, yeah. It's definitely a four... You can see there's four stars there. So let's just go ahead and move on to the next one. You can see down in the radar there, there's four stars there. There were four bodies in the system. So clearly that's... A, actually, I do want to take a second and just look... There's one, two. I was I didn't realize how fast I was going. I was just trying to I was just trying to see where they are. So it looks like that one's far away. And then we got this one here, which is relatively close. Is this the same one that was far away? Yeah, that one's far away. And I think okay, we got this one here that we jumped to. I think this, yeah, so we have three stars that are relatively close to each other. Not too shabby. All right, well, let's get into the next system and maybe we'll get lucky and be able to find something, uh, find something interesting. As always, I forgot to bring up my elite observatory, so I will bring it up now, even though we've already, we've already done a bunch of stuff. Well, the problem is, is I can't leave my elite observatory. I don't have enough screen space. Like I could start, I can, I can start it, but I can't. I can't run it. I have I have my recording on the left side of the screen. I have the game in the middle here, and then I have my I have my chat and all that stuff on the right side of the screen. So until I can figure out getting the pop up, when this is this is going to be a continuing process of trying to figure this stuff out. I, there's a bunch of things I need to figure out to make this live stream smooth and streamlined and be able to do all the things I want to be able to do. And one of those things is is getting my chat set up in a way where I can have it kind of docked to the side and. Um, you know, not obstructing my view of certain things. So we'll, I'll continue to work on it and try to figure it out. Uh, you don't know what you don't know until you find out what you don't know. And, uh, you know, when it comes to streaming, I, I'm not a streamer. I'm trying to move into that space, I guess, but that's more because, that's more because I'm just trying to grow my channel than because I want to be a streamer. I feel like it provides me with more opportunities for exposure. Uh, and it gives, you know, it gives you guys as the audience a chance to come and hang out and actually interact rather than just have to leave a comment or something like that. Once we get to our destination system, though, we're going to have to uh, find something to do to fill in the rest of the time. Oh, actually, I don't even know how many more jumps we have left. Let's see how many jumps we have left. Ideally, with seven jumps to get done, we'll find a couple of we'll find a couple of opportunities to do exobiology, and we'll be a lot less uh, we'll be a lot less picky about uh, what planets we go to, since you know, especially if we're gonna have to especially if we're gonna have to wait for the carrier to get there anyway. And I was saying, I was saying in the last episode, if you missed it in the last episode, this ship is actually, if you engineer it properly, this ship is actually capable of beginning to charge up your FSD while you're still fuel scooping. I have never, ever been in a ship that lets you do that. The heat management on this thing, because, because they had to have a bunch of heat management for the super cruise overdrive, it makes sense that they, that being able to fuel scoop and, and charge your FSD while you're going is pretty nice. So if you're in a hurry to get somewhere, if you're not stopping in every system, 
you, you can shave a couple of seconds or a few seconds, uh, you know, depending off of your travel, off of each of your jumps, which adds up over time. Like for right here, we're not even going to wait. We're just going to. We're still, we're still in the fuel scooping zone. Still in the fuel scooping zone. Still in the, and we just popped out. We didn't even get up past 77. Like, that's pretty badass. I'm sorry. That's just, even my Phantom, which has awesome heat, heat stuff. You, you couldn't charge your FSD in the middle of a fuel scoop. You would rapidly overheat. So this thing is like insane in several different ways. It just is. <clears throat> I didn't want to get the Mandalay. Because I wasn't super excited about it, but the increased control while you're super cruising, while you're overdriving, the in, the extreme fuel efficiency while you're super cruise overdriving, and then now the fact that I don't even have to wait until I'm finished fuel scooping to start charging my FSD, that's insanity. That's insanity. It's awesome. It's just awesome. All right, we got a bunch of bodies to scan here, so this will almost certainly be our final system for today. So let's see if maybe we can get lucky and find some awesome biology as we go this way. All right, still got to get this guy here. Looks like we missed one. All right, nothing on that one. I feel like I'm the lockpicking lawyer. Nothing on one, nothing on two. <laughs> Uh, I like that. I like that. That's one of those channels that I can watch. I like watch for a little while and I get I like I watch a bunch of them and then I get bored with it again. Like you can only watch somebody picking locks, even even interest, even a bunch of different locks so many times before you're like, all right, I'm kind of bored now. OK. Let's see. What else do we have? We, all right. We need to we need some biology to show up here. Like we really, really need it. Okay, we got this here. Geological, not biological. Yet again, geological, not biological. We got one more shot at this, I think. Okay, so there's gonna be a bunch of bodies around this one, I think. Yeah. So, still nothing. Still nothing. Still nothing. I'm not getting a warm fuzzy for this. Unfortunately. All right, we have one more shot. We have one more shot. Let's hope that this next system does not have, is not like a one or two body system. Let's hope that it has like 15, 20, something like that. That'll give us a, a decent chance of getting a little bit more cash in our bank account. Because we got to stay ahead of that weekly carrier payment. I know I have like, I have a billion dollars. I keep a billion, do a billion dollars, a billion credits on the carrier. And I also have a billion, 1.1 or 1.2 billion credits in my personal account that I keep shifting over to keep that carrier balance at a billion credits. But you know, rich people have a, a tendency to stay rich because they keep assuming that they're gonna get poor if they don't keep making money. So they figure out ways to keep making money. <laughs> That's the mentality we, we, need to, we need to adopt here. So we have 10, we have nine chances, I think, for something to show up. All right, it's all, uh, yeah, I think it's all icy bodies. So that's not the best, but you know, you take what you can get. All right, let's see what we got here. So the goal at the moment is to get our fleet carrier. Um, I may do some offline carrier jumps to get the fleet carrier back to, or get the fleet carrier to its next fuel stop. Uh, which is going to mean that uh, we're going to try to be stopping in a system that has pristine icy rings. All right. Well, unfortunately, we're not going to have the chance to actually uh, do any more biology today, but that's okay. Uh, we're a good 24 minutes into the video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to click the like button, subscribe to help us reach 10,000 subscribers. Join as a member for early access to videos, among other perks, or you can just leave YouTube's version of a tip with the thanks button. And thank you very much for your time. Uh, if you want to watch these live streams that I'm doing, I do them every, uh, I'm doing them every Monday through Friday from at 4 p.m. Pacific time. We do several different games. Uh, until 6 p.m. or until I'm just done. So for my live audience, don't go anywhere. The video's not done. Uh, for the rest of you, be sure to check out the next Elite Dangerous video. Go check out the more than almost 1,800 videos on the channel, and I will see you for the next one.